A renowned education is Fajiri Monday is under the spotlight for allegedly floating procedures in the recruitment of the UNEB Executive Secretary. <laughs> Whistleblowers have petitioned the IGG questioning the manner in which the body chairman Fajiri Monday allegedly single handedly recruited his crony, Dr. Johnny Bosco Tagare, to replace the outgoing Executive Secretary, Matthew Kenya. The IGG has since then halted the process. There are about 17 uh, allegations about uh, the whole process, that it was not done in the right uh, procedure. So the IGG found it prudent to stop the exercise until the investigations are over. It is alleged that Fajiru Mande has sapped the powers of the hiring department and designed a job advertisement to suit his friend, despite UNEBO having a full-fledged human resources department. Yeah, Mr. Mande decreed that all applications be addressed to him. Like I said, he's not the human resource officer. That one, that one was also uh, flouted. It's not allowed. Uh, However, Monday denies the allegations. So I'm just saying that let the exercise be carried out quickly. Let the investigations be done. And we we'll get on with the business. Monday allegedly the directed the human resource manager to forward all the applications to his private office from where he would call applicants to give him bribes. Uh, some of our whistleblowers uh, allege that Mr. Fajil Mande was actually soliciting some money uh, from, from the people he was supposed, supposedly helping to become uh, Executive Secretary of UNEB. No, I mean, I can't answer you now. Let the investigation take place. Later on, Fajil Mande allegedly personally drew the shortlist for the candidates. It's also alleged that at the time, the candidates were shortlisted on the 8th October 2013, the term for the UNEB board had expired. The father alleged that Fajiru Mande incorporated strangers into the recruitment process to conduct interviews and favor his friend. Oh well, yes, according to the whistleblower, the whistleblower says Mr. Mande uh, actually went behind the scenes and uh, recruited his friend. But all these are allegations which we are investigating as the inspector of government. That's why we found it, uh, the IGG found it prudent to stop the whole exercise. The whistleblower's dozier also claims that Monday has a bias against UNEBU staff who had applied for the job but none was shortlisted. Ntagare currently heads the Department of Examination at the Institute of Certified Public Accounts of Uganda. The outgoing Executive Secretary Matthew Kenya has been at the helm of UNEB for the last 16 years. Dr. Antagare scored 76.5% in the interview against Andrew Maweje, who scored 74.2%. Francis Mashate scored 69%. Professor Joseph Mpera Ntai scored 68.8%. Kedra Suriagenda, 68.8%. Dr. Daniel Inkada, 67.7%. Samuel Mugoya, 57.7%. And Hamu Mungereza, 55.3%. Jingo Francis. NTV Weekend Edition.